Hello, welcome to another touch tutorial by by me and one. And today I'm gonna be going over auto commands. And um, to start, of course, you launch your browser, uh, you launch a touch, and you can add commands and edit commands uh, while the server is running. I usually recommend to do it before you start the server, but you can actually edit it while it's running and those commands will take effect as you edit them via the GUI. Uh, if you're doing it via the config file uh, that changes, it wouldn't update live and you will need to restart the server. For anyone that's wondering if we're going to cover information on how to do it via the uh, config file, since the UI is available for you to download locally, um, I will advise you to download it locally, do everything that I'm about to show you, uh, get the config file from your local and move it over to your server. And that will be the recommended advice that I will give you. I'm gonna go over starting a command. So first thing you wanna do, uh, go to your plugins page and currently we are here. Uh, click on essentials, that's uh, the plugin that uses the uh, auto command and currently that's the only one I have installed. And what you, what you wanna do is scroll down to where it says auto command. As you can see, I have that already running and you select add and once you select add you get this uh, what I like to call phantom command it this command is disabled doesn't do anything and there's no command uh, steps actually loaded in it so you need to fill out all this information and the first thing you want to do basically go down the line on based on what you want to say for your command uh, name always name a command uh, I'll name this this auto if I can spell correctly, interval. Interval is usually needed for a few commands, but not all. I believe the only one that doesn't actually use interval is the on start, and I'm gonna go over, which will bring us to the next, trigger. Now, trigger will determine how you set everything else uh, going on, uh, going forward. And that also include the interval. We should probably move the trigger up since that determines what the com how the command is run. So currently it's disabled. Disabled means it's not gonna run, but you can still run it with the admin auto command. So if you want a preloaded uh, command that you want to only admins to run, you can set that and load it yourself. Next thing is the grid count. Grid counts basically will be triggered if grid if. Uh, well, it would be based off the operator and stuff like that, but grid count is what it says. The command is based off how many grids are on the server or is being calculated by the server. On start runs immediately when the server starts. And it will only run once and never again. Now, there is a way for you to loop it. There's a trick to doing that. And I'll probably go over that in another video. Uh, play account. Similar to grid count, but in this case, it's actually using a count of player. So that also uses their trigger operator. Uh, scheduled, scheduled works as it's uh, described. Scheduled. Um, you choose a date or a time, and it will run at that specific time every single time. And sim speed, sim speed uh, trigger will be triggered by a variety of your uh, sim speed, and this also has variable that determines how that is run or how that is triggered. Timed is uh, more of a, a timer, and this will be based off uh, your server uptime. So let's say you set it for uh, every thirty minutes. Uh, it will run 30 minutes after the server starts and 30 minutes after the last time it ran. Votes, uh, votes can only be activated by players. So there we, there's a exclamation mark vote command. And the, by typing that with the name of the command will trigger the vote to start. And players in the, on the server can 
vote on that command and if the result meets whatever you set uh it will trigger the command if not it will say the vote failed okay now we're moving down to trigger counts and uh, trigger counts can change determine uh, based on what trigger you have uh, the main one that uses it is uh, the grid count and the player count and the count will mean for uh, for grid count how many of the how many grids is being used for the trigger uh, and player count how many players is being used for the trigger now uh, other triggers that uses it um, will be sim speed uses it as a duration of uh, time in which sim speed is calculated so uh, let's say you want to set same speed to pick up every 30 minutes. You set the interval to 30 and trigger count and you want it to trigger if the same speed drops below a certain amount for a certain amount of, uh, uh, amount of time. So let's say in this case, I want it to trigger if it goes below 0 0.5 for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds will be the trigger count. In this case, in the same speed, that the duration will be in seconds. And let's go over other places where that will also be used. Uh, believe um, the vote. Now the vote, the trigger count will be the cooldown time. So let's say you don't want your vote to be running every. You don't want players to be running that vote every so uh, so often so let's say you want to vote every 30 minutes or so all you have to do is do a quick calculation 30 times 30 uh sorry 30 times 60 30 times 60 so 60 seconds times uh, 30 minutes you get 1800 seconds and that's what you will put there if you want it to run every 30 every 30 seconds and we go down to trigger ratio trigger ratio is used by sim speed so one of them that uh, a sim speed and vote use trigger ratio so seems for now as you notice i have this empty and now the box is red when that happens that means something needs to go there or else it's gonna default so in this case we're gonna leave it back to zero and now we're safe trigger ratio same speed again uh, you can use the simulation speed that always shows up here as an example but it goes from uh, 0 0.0001 to 0 0.1 to 1 so the same thing with the vote. Uh, if you want the vote to be 50%, that would be 0 0.5. And the next one will be the trigger operator. The trigger operator is used by majority of the command uh, triggers. I think the only one that doesn't use it is the on start, timed, and scheduled. Those are the only ones that doesn't use it. So trigger count, you want to have an operator for that. Play count, you want to need an operator. And if you don't set one, it will set less than. So make sure this is correct or else your command won't function the way you want. For example, a exa uh, vote. If you want the vote to trigger, if the ratio is, uh, if the result is higher than 50%, you need to make sure this is set to greater than. Uh, there is an equal. Uh, don't recommend using that for anything other than the uh, grid count or player count and this will only trigger if that specific um, ratio or count is met else it won't trigger at all and the other thing for some of this command that uses all these ratios and operator make sure you have an interval the reason why I'm saying I'm mentioning that uh, now is if you don't have an interval set they will trigger immediately and they will continue looping that trigger every single time. So they will keep uh, looping if you don't have an interval. So what you want to do is, let's say you want to do grid count or player count. I will recommend at least an interval of 30 minutes. 
you can choose to go lower depending on your server and how you are whichever commands you are using now that we have all the settings done we set the commands how we want it to do uh we set it how we want it to run so next thing will be setting the commands itself this is where you add a step so as you can see i clicked on the edit collection you click on the add now you have a phantom uh, step now and if you don't fill this out it won't do anything but make sure you feel something out there so here we put our uh, exclamation mark say this and what we want to do if you're only running one command you're done this is all you need to do and that's that's all now let's say you want to run multiple commands at the same time and what an example of this will be cleanup commands uh, we have some of those posted on the discord and also on the wiki you do I say that now you don't want this to as has Abby said now they will run at the same time and you also notice that this is also still phantom that means it's not saved yet if, if I add one more it shows up now and I can delete that phantom and we'll go over uh, doing the same thing after you finish adding the old command after you finish with the other command so now you have two commands they both will run at the same exact time because we don't have a delay for them now to add a delay you go to the first one or the the let's say you want the delay between the one and uh, to first and second you go to the first you add your delay you say 15 seconds and I recommend to always have a delay for every command even if it's just one second five seconds have a delay for every command mainly because you don't want multiple commands triggering at the same time and causing your server to freeze so now we have a, a now this command will run 15 seconds from that, uh, this. So that will run 15 seconds from this. So now we close. Once we're done, we can. The next one on the bottom is the schedule, the day of the week. Now this only works with the schedule trigger. And what you want to do is. If you set a time, the time will always be in military uh, format. So let's say we want to do 0400, 0400, and that's how we set that schedule. We set, and as I mentioned, scheduled will ignore trigger count and trigger ratio since it doesn't need it. If that, it will also ignore trigger operator since it doesn't use it. It doesn't use that and the next thing we want to do is for schedule is the day of the week if i set it to all it will always run at 0400 every day if i want it to only run on tuesdays i'll set it on tuesday and it will only run at 0400 only on tuesdays now that we have that all set you're not done yet so do not start the server do not close your thing this command is not saved and you can always tell by the information that is giving you here so this is giving us the information of when we created the phantom command so when we added that phantom command the only thing that was added was a phantom command all this information that we just added is not saved yet so once i add i will add the phantom command again and now you notice that some of those information changed so i will write it updated now that it's updated it means it's saved and the other command here i can uh the phantom command i can choose to keep it or remove it but every time you add a new command once you finish the uh adding those information make sure you click add to add the phantom command that will save the command that you just created and then you can choose to keep or delete the phantom command that you just added and that should cover the information needed to create a auto command if you have any questions we are in the discord and also some of this information on the wiki the links are all down below uh, thank you for watching have a nice one